asking you and <clears throat> let's start with the soles of our feet together knees out wide again we're doing yin today so if you have a bolster and a block that's wonderful if you don't that's also completely fine starting to move down on our backs allowing our knees to fall open with gravity allowing our shoulders to fall open with gravity as well starting to connect with the breath breathing into a four count <clears throat> holding to a four count and exhaling to a four count <clears throat> and as you breathe breathe in through the belly up through the ribs the lungs all the way to the tops of your throats and then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs the lungs all the way to your bellies as though you're wringing water from a washcloth bringing navel into spine <clears throat> Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your bodies. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. One more time. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. I'm not sure if Lisa is on here today. She went hiking with Anthony yesterday. It was his birthday in Sedona. My um, intention is for Anthony and for Lisa today. Sending them tons of love. <laughs> Seal that intention with one deep inhale. 
and one deep exhale. Inhale, close knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, push up onto your hands. Remove your block and your bolster and roll back over onto your backs. Grab onto your knees, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Then place the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale as you grab onto that left thigh, interlacing your fingers behind your left thigh. Exhale as you extend that leg. Flex your foot and draw your shoulders back and down. Again, breathing in and out. Keep your hips down as much as possible. Again, you can be here, you can be using a strap if you have one, placing it around the sole of your foot. And if you do, then drag those shoulders back and down as you hold on to the strap. You can also grab onto your toes, dragging your leg closer to you as you do. Again, remember to drag those shoulders back and down as much as possible. We're working towards strengthening your leg, but if you aren't there yet, that's completely fine as well. You're still getting the stretch. As you breathe in, find where there's resistance in the body. And as you breathe out, breathe that resistance out. And smile, it's Thursday. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out. <clears throat> and slowly inhale. As you allow that right hand to fall down to the right with gravity, exhale as you allow your left hand to fall open with gravity, dragging that left leg down as far as you can, keep both hips down, and again, maybe use your bolster underneath your thigh, you can also use your block, you can be holding on to your thigh, your calf, or your toes. Wherever you are is perfect. Breathing in and out. And smile. Mm -hmm. 
And again, I'll be at the library today if anyone would like to join me. <clears throat> Hope the air conditioning is fixed. Last week it was 80 degrees when we started, but it was fine. It was actually, I don't think that anybody got too hot. We left the door open so that there was circulation from the main part of the library. I would assume it's going to be fine today. Again, as you're doing these exercises, you should feel that you're opening up maybe allowing yourself to come closer to the mat or the floor as you do. But again, wherever you are is perfect. Don't feel like you have to. Let's take two more deep breaths here in and out. And slowly inhale as you draw your leg to center. Extend your right leg, grab onto your foot with your right hand. Allow that left hand to fall down towards the mat or to the floor with gravity. And then exhale as you draw that left leg over towards the right as far as you can. Breathing in and out.
Let's take two more deep breaths here in and out. Then slowly inhale back to center. Exhale as you draw your knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys. And smile, it's Thursday. Place the soles of your feet on the mat. <clears throat> Inhale as you place your hands around that right thigh, interlace your fingers. Exhale as you extend that right leg, drag your shoulders back and down. Again, you can also be using a strap for all of these exercises. It's helpful and it can help you move into these positions a little bit easier, but you don't need a strap. Wherever you are is perfect. Again, you can be here. You can also Draw those fingers up towards your toes, dragging your leg in, shoulders back and down. Try to keep your hips down as much as possible. Shoulders, again, keep moving back and down. Pretty much anything that we do in yoga, our shoulders are moving back and down unless we're doing it intentionally. For instance, when we're giving ourselves a hug, dragging those shoulders up towards the ears to show the difference as you're dragging them back and down, opening up. Smile, it's Thursday. The weekend is coming, which is always exciting. <clears throat> it's been nice and cloudy here, so much cooler, but unfortunately not really any rain. Sure it would be nice to get rain. deep breaths here in and out then slowly inhale as you allow that left hand to fall down towards the floor beside you Exhale as you allow that right leg to fall open with gravity as far as you can. Keep that left hip down. Breathing in and out.
Let's take two more deep breaths here in and out. Then slowly inhale as you draw that leg back to center. Extend your left leg, grab onto your right foot with your left hand. Allow that right hand to fall down towards the floor. And exhale as you cross your right leg over your body to the left. And breathe. towards keeping both hips as much on the mat as possible. So even though you're dragging this right leg over, you're dragging your right hip back at the same time, back and down. Hmm. And smile. It's Thursday. Smiling always makes you feel better. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale back to center. Draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Then place your feet as wide as the mat. Knees are up. Arms are out east and west. Inhale first. Exhale as your knees fall down to the left. Place that left leg on top of your right thigh if this is in your practice. And look over that right shoulder. Again, today we're holding this a little bit longer than normal as this is a yin position in windshield wipers. Opening up those thighs and those hips. Oh, 
Slowly inhale as you release that left foot. Draw those knees back to center. And exhale as you allow them to fall over to the right. Place your right foot on top of your left thigh. Look off to the left. And smile. Inhale as you release that right foot in and draw those knees to center. Draw them in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Good job. Inhale first. Exhale as you release that right leg. Inhale that left arm up overhead. Exhale as you push your left knee over to the right. Again, we're in a full body twist, dragging those shoulders back and down again. You can stay here or you can bend that right leg, grabbing on to your right foot. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend. Extend that left leg if this is in your practice, grabbing on to your left foot. And again, drag those shoulders back and down.
slowly inhale as you draw those knees to center. Exhale as you extend your left leg. Inhale that right arm up overhead. Exhale as you draw that right knee over to the left. Again, either stay here or inhale first. Exhale as you bend that left knee, grabbing onto your left foot. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that right leg, if this is in your practice. Drag your shoulders back and down. And again, this is a Tibetan bowl, chakra expansion. Imagine that white light rising from your root, your sacral, to your solar plexus, to your heart, to your throat, to your third eye all the way up to your crown chakra, shooting out bright white light. All those around you, spreading positive energy. Inhale back to center, draw those knees in for a hug, walk back and forth. Yeah. Exhale as you extend those legs below you. Roll over onto the left side, left elbow, left palm of your hand down. Yeah. Inhale that right knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above. Again, drag that right shoulder back and down. And breathe. Opening up in infinity pose. This should be easier because we've already opened up. So hopefully you'll be able to maybe <clears throat> move into this a little bit more than you do normally. Inhale that right knee in. Exhale as you extend below you. Roll over onto the right side, right elbow, right palm of your hand down. Inhale that left knee in, grab your instep. Exhale, extend above you. Again, drag that left shoulder back and down as much as possible. This should be a little less complicated for you. And then possibly grabbing onto your calf, dragging your leg towards you in infinity pose. Inhale that knee towards you. Exhale, extend below you. Place your hands behind your thighs, spinal rolls from shoulder to tailbone, and back again, allowing each vertebrae to come back into alignment. Um, I'm going to do just a little bit of upper body. Sitting up straight in Sukhasana. My hair is really big today since I didn't have time to do anything to it. 
Inhale that left arm all the way up. Exhale down to the right, onto that right elbow. Open up those left obliques, breathing into them. And again, smile. Last Thursday. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale down to the left. Look up towards the ceiling. Drag that right hip back and down. Drag your right shoulder back and down. Open up those right obliques. And smile. Inhale back to center. Exhale first. Place those fingertips on the mat. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale as you bend your elbow. <clears throat> Finding that space between your shoulder blades. Inhale that left arm up. Grab that right elbow and drag it over to the left. Opening up that right shoulder. And breathe. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, down. Inhale, that left arm up. Exhale, as you bend your elbow. Inhale, that right arm up. Grab your elbow. Over to the right, looking up towards the ceiling, smiling. Again, opening up that left shoulder. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale down. And then from here, extend your legs in front of you and shake them out. On our mats, flexing our feet. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach as far as you can on the flat back. Place your hands on either side of your calves. Inhale, halfway up, making space. And exhale down to the shin in Dandasana. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Bend your knees. Arms are out on either side of your knees. Inhale first. Exhale, inch by inch. Vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way down to the mat. And when you get there, draw those knees in for a much deserved hug. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys. Good job. And then from here, take your block in hand. Place your feet so that your heels are just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up. Place your block underneath your sacrum. 
Again, you can stay here in supported bridge. You can walk your feet out if you'd like to into a T formation or a mushroom formation. If this feels good. Wherever you are is perfect. Slowly draw those arms back overhead and then walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up, placing the block underneath you on the lowest level. Come back down onto it on your sacrum. And then lift your legs up into supported leg straight up. Again, allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs, back down to your brain. This should be a little more, uh, well, this is easier than doing this without the block. Uh, are able to stay in this position without too much strain. Breathing in and out. Uh, Inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. And then cross that left leg over right, wrap your feet, 
arms out east and west. Inhale first, exhale down to the right. Look over that left shoulder and breathe. Inhale back to center, unwrap, unwind, give yourselves a hug. Inhale through your nose, this side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive. Down to ground. Starting to relax. Relax your toes. Relax your feet. Relax your ankles. Relax your calves. Relax your knees. Relax your thighs. Relax your hips. Relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. <clears throat> relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale <clears throat> as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position facing the front of the room. <clears throat> Legs are crossed. Hands are at Anjali Mudra. Heads are bowed in honor of our practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Thursday. We won't have class tomorrow, but we will on Monday. We're coming towards the beginning of a new month, uh, August as well, just to let you know. And um, I'm grateful for the people who have already sent in payments. So if you haven't, please, uh, please do so. Again, I look forward to seeing you on Monday or perhaps today at the library. Namaste.
Thank you, everyone. Glad you were here. Now I'm off to straighten my hair before I get to the library. <laughs> Have a great trip.